In this video, we're going to solve for the output elasticities of labor and capital from a Cobb-Douglas production function. Here's our Cobb-Douglas production function. And the output elasticity of labor is given by this, the partial derivative of the production function with respect to labor, multiplied by L divided by Q. And the output elasticity of capital is given by the marginal product of capital, which is the partial derivative of the production function with respect to capital, multiplied by k units of capital divided by q output. So let's start with output elasticity of labor. First thing we'll do is calculate this marginal product of labor, this partial derivative. Doing that, bring the point 1 down in front. Point 1 minus 1 leaves L raised to the minus point 0.9 power. We don't have to do anything with the k term, just hangs around. Setting up the equation then, plugging in the marginal product of labor, multiplying that by L divided by Q. We're going to make a substitution here now. What is Q? Q is just a production function, so we'll plug that result back in. And now we're going to simplify. This K to the 1 half divided by K to the 1 half cancel. L divided by L to the point 1 is just L to the point 9 up here in the numerator, and L to the point 9 multiplied by L to the minus point 9 will just cancel. So everything cancels but this point 1. So that is the output elasticity of labor. A 1% increase in units of labor will increase output by 1 tenth of 1%. And finally, the output elasticity of capital. We'll get the marginal product of capital by taking this partial derivative of the production function. So we get this, plugging this into our formula, marginal product of capital multiplied by k divided by q. So we got the k divided by q here, multiplied by the marginal product of capital. Once again, for q, we'll plug in the original production function, and now we will simplify. L to the point 1 divided by L to the point 1 will cancel. This... Um, k divided by k to the point 0.5 will leave k to the point 0.5 in the numerator. So k to the minus point 0.5 times k to the point 0.5 will just cancel, become 1. And everything cancels but this point 0.5. And that is the output elasticity of capital. 1% increase in units of capital will increase output by roughly a half a percent. Hope you found this video helpful.